Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Andrew and welcome back to another Clip Studio Paint tutorial video. So for this tutorial video, I had somebody ask me how they can change the color of a Perlin noise. So if you haven't seen my video on how you can add Perlin noise to your drawings, uh, I'll leave a link in the description so that you can see that video so you know what I'm talking about. Now, um, to change the color of a Perlin noise, there's actually uh, two ways you you can do this and they both have their benefits so I'll show you the first method um, the first method is basically there's a Perlin noise filter that you can add basically so you have your drawing I have just these squares in different colors so that you can see the effects of it um, so to add the Perlin filter you create a new a new um, layer above your drawing and then you go up to filter render Perlin noise and then and in this uh, option box here you can choose uh, whatever you want here I'm gonna choose uh, well I'll just leave it at 50 I'll just leave the default so once you add uh, the Perlin noise then you can uh, hit multiply and you can see that the noise is now applied to the to the drawing below and you can change the opacity if you want it a little bit lighter or clearer and um, but it's just black and the we want it, the Perlin noise to be actually a different color so you can't actually add the color uh, while the layers set up like this so I'm gonna change it back to normal if you come here to the right where it says expression color you want to change that to monochrome. Once you change that to monochrome, you can just hit, um, let's click this black square here. And what that does, it just removes anything that's white. So now you can see uh, the, the drawing below the filter. And then if you click this other button down here where it says apply expression color, of preview this will permanently change the layer to these properties so I'm gonna click apply expression and so now that layer will always be like that you can't go back well unless you hit undo and so now that you have that now what you can do is you can hit this uh, blue square up here where it says change layer color and now it's blue but you can choose any color in the coloring wheel and you come over here to the right where it says layer color and you can uh, change it to whatever color you want from the color wheel and so you can see how it changes uh, the color of the Perlin noise now you can see that it's it might be too bright um, so again you can mess with the opacity and you can make it a little bit uh, lighter or clearer and so uh, you can see you can change it to different colors to see how um, how one color will affect um, the combination basically so a, a yellow and green won't you can't you can't see the the noise too much so that's one way you can do um, that's one way you can change the color of a Perlin noise on a drawing the other way you can do it, um, and I, I like it a little bit more, is is adding actually uh, a tone. The tone feature in Clip Studio Paint has a noise feature also. The way you do that is you create a new layer, you grab your little magic wand, you select the whole layer, and you come here to this uh, these little dots here where it says new tone you click that new tone right here in the drop down uh, menu there's a uh, by default it's set to, to circles uh, you just find noise for right now I'll leave the settings as is it doesn't really matter uh, and this is why I like this method better is because you can change this on the fly um, now here you can already see that the the white is not really white it's transparent because we can see the the bottom drawing the color squares uh, so 
to change the color from black though you can change the click the little blue square again and if you come here to the right now you can see you have two settings here you have tone and you have layer color they're both selected and so now you can change to whatever color you want and you can see the yellow doesn't on the green again it doesn't appear too well but another thing that I like about this is that if you come here you can see the noise size you can change the noise size to whatever you want and it's uh, you can change it on the fly you could also change the density so if you want it thicker or lighter um, you can do that it it's not a permanent change you can you can change it on the fly whenever you want now one of the things that you can't do with this is change the transparency um, if you change the transparency you can see that you don't really see a transparency through the color it just makes the noise kind of like thicker or thinner uh, I, I suppose what you could do if you like this method better and you want it to be tra more transparent you can go to um, layer and rasterize let's see if this works now you see once you rasterize it it loses its um, its settings and it goes to this much bigger uh, noise which is and then yeah sure now you can change the transparency but that's not exactly the size we wanted so I'm going to try undo that so those are the two methods you can use to change the color of your noise filter um, again I'll leave a link in the description so that you can see the um, the noise filter Perlin noise uh, video that I made and um, you can reference you can see that to see why you would add noise to your drawings Anyways, uh, I hope you found this informative. Uh, if you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. I make Clip Studio Paint videos like this. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, make sure you leave them in the comments of any of my videos. Uh, if I see them, I will try to explain it in the comments. And if I can't, I'll make a video so that everybody can learn. Uh, again, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.